Andrew here from Chameleon AMLS and today we've got another detailed walkthrough on a trailer configuration. We've got a base 5.2, locker going wide tour 4.0, deluxe front locker upgrade and a really, really cool internal fit out. So let's go and have a look. So like all Chameleon based trailers, we've got a Cruise Master DO35 coupling on the front. We've got a ARC off-road heavy duty dual wheel jockey wheel. We've got our in-house manufactured hot dip galvanised locally chassis, trailer chassis here set up with trailing arm independent suspension from Cruise Master. Tandem axle in this configuration, single axle in the other configurations, but we can see a trailer base now from two metres all the way up to 5.9 metres. It sits here now at 1740 kilos with an ATM of three and a half tonne, giving us nearly two tonne of payload. We can very easily rate these up to four or 4495 on the ATM to give you lots and lots of payload if you've got a tow vehicle that can tolerate that much weight. So we've got our method rims, Toyo AT2 tyres, standard on all our base trailers. We can get access to the full method range and a variety of all-terrain and mud-terrain tyre upgrades there. Our modular wheel guard, which is uh, replaceable should you happen to damage that, but it is structural, it is trafficable. We can drive equipment up and over that as needed. 5.2 gives us 15 of our 350 mil grids on the load deck from the very front of the tra trailer to the back. And we can see that by our anchor points on the side. We can see that on the deck with our 350 mil square grid of M12 structural anchor points throughout the whole load space of that trailer. That's the fundamental base of our modular system onto which we can bolt our locker and flexor components, which we'll have a look at shortly. As we look at the side of the trailer, we can see our stainless steel reinforced chassis anchor points. That's giving us some really high strength anchor points. We've got our M12 structural points throughout the bed, giving you lots and lots of, lots of flexibility. We'll jump around the back and have a look at some of the standard features on the back of the trailer as well. So as we swing around the back of the trailer here, we can see our five mil welded in tailgate plate here, giving us lots and lots of strength on the back of the trailer. Dual recovery points, again, tied into the chassis. Rock sliders under there, all part of the galvanised base chassis. We can see our LED tail lights. They're a fully sealed LED light. We Deutsch plug everything, whether it's clearance lights on the side, tail lights, or your brakes. So if you happen to smash a light, you can just come and uh, get a replacement bolt in, bolt out. There's no need to be mucky around there. You can see how much storage we've got in this trailer, a 5.2. 1400 mil of that 5.2 metres is taken up with a locker at the front and we'll see shortly just how, how much functional storage we've got in that with the flexor fit out that we can see. But it's still leaving us 3.8 metres, 2.3 metres wide, a massive space there, anchor points everywhere, lots of options, whether it's buggies, whether it's work, whether it's a jet ski, so many options of how you can use the back of this trailer. So this is a deluxe front locker upgrade over our standard uh, front toolbox, which is a 350 litre top loading uh, chest style toolbox. This particular one, we gain a bit of height to match the wide tall gullwing configuration. We do this deluxe in a wide standard height as well, the 930 height, as opposed to this 1200 mil height. We're seeing a dual, dual uh, whale tails here on our side entry door. Just opens up a different functionality with the toolbox and a bit more storage and a bit more opportunity for an electrical fit out in here. This particular customer's uh, a auto electrician by trade, so we've left the electrical fit out to them. We've, we can do that in-house, of course, but we, we've given the framework here for them to do that. So we've got switch panels, we've got our shelf, we've got our battery and compressor storage down below. A really fantastic platform for the customer to start using and then and build with on time. So behind our front locker, we can see here a locker gullwing 4.0 wide tall. The 4.0 designates four of our pitches, and I mentioned this trailer here on the 5.2 has 15 of our 350 mil pitches. The 4.0 here designates four of those, so a total of 1,400 mil across. The wide tall sees us a two metre wide trailer, a two metre wide locker, 1,200 high. We also do this in a wide standard, being a 930 high configuration. So thinking about these and crossing over to a ute platform, that's why there's a wide standard, or some people may not want quite as much storage on a trailer or to keep the overall size down a little bit. So the wide standard is an option on these trailers as well, and both are compatible across the ute platform. On top of the locker going 4.0, we can see our modular roof rail system, which has been optioned. Underneath the trailer here, we can see some water outlets. So this particular trailer has been optioned with a single 110 litre uh, water tank and a water pump. The fillers are on the uh, driver's side. We've got dual outlets here. It's all in a manifold. One outlet for the kitchen, we'll see shortly, one out for general use. This trailer can be added to with another up to another 210 litre water tanks underneath quite easily down the track, should the customer so choose. But let's jump inside this locker going 4.0 wide tall and have a bit of a look at some of the fit out options that have been included. So jumping inside this locker now, we can see a few of our standard features. So three mil aluminium construction throughout, cross braces on the door in both directions, our compression whale tail latches there. Internally, 
like all our lockers, we're seeing a fully welded aluminium uh, structural frame. So we've got uni struts and aluminium RHS skinned in the three mil aluminium throughout, fully powder coated. All our lockers come standard powder coated and there's a couple of different colour options we can look at there. Adjustable gas strut height, depending on rooftop tents, awnings and a few things like that. So there's adjustment in that here and here. Cable management throughout, you know, if, if a lighting kit's optioned in or if you want to put that in down the track. Where it gets interesting with this particular fit out is the customer has uh, really ticked a lot of the boxes around some of the internal fit out. All of the internal fit out we see here is modular. All of this can be optioned in part or in full now or down the track. And that's one of the key, key points of the Chameleon platform. It is a truly modular system. This drawer unit can be pulled in and out quite easily, four bolts, similarly down here. All our drawers, all, all our shelves, they're all adjustable in height and can be swapped around within this box or within other locker configurations. As we look here, we've got a, a fridge mounting kit set up ready for the customer's fridge in there, upright fridge. We've got a high shelf, a lower shelf, a couple of lovely big lockable drawers there and another one down here. And then to keep the uh, kitchen duties well and truly in check, we've got this wonderful big Dometic slide out kitchen unit, which is incorporated into the locker as well. The large Dometic slide out kitchen we see here is a fantastic unit. It's giving us lots of lay down area, an integrated storage drawer there, lots more storage underneath the front here, chopping board, three burner stove, sink with plumbable hot and cold water. But who doesn't love a barbecue when you're out camping? So let's have a look what's over my shoulder. So the Gen 2 Weber box here gives us fantastic access to our Weber barbecue. As we lift the door, the barbecue set up, ready to go for a quick roadside stop, cook a sausage at lunch or a roast at dinner. It's all there right at the ready. At the back, we've got access through to our Flexa 9 kilo gas bottle holder. Underneath, we can see uh, we're sitting up here in this configuration on a couple of wet boxes. Inside these, we've got an enormous amount of storage. As I put my hand in there, you can just see how much storage we've got. And there's a second wet box around the back. When configured like this, we've got the toys on the back, we've got the Weber here, the kitchen at hand. It's a fantastic, ready, easy to use configuration for your, uh, for your stop on the side of the road at lunch or for a longer term set up at night. So around the back of the locker, we can see the two Flexa Jerry can holders here and the nine kilo gas bottle holder we talked about before. But let's open up this driver's side door and have a look at the fit out here. So the driver's side of this lock has been set up with a really functional volume sort of focus on storage. Again, everything's modular, everything's powder coated. We just don't like the raw aluminium finish on an internal fit out, particularly the oxidisation. It just makes things dirty and messy. So we powder coat everything standard. Here we can see the back of the Dometic kitchen. So we put a blinding plate in there. There's a little bit of storage. We've got this lovely big drawer here, a massive amount of storage in there. We've got two more drawers and a shelf above. The uni struts, we can still hang things on off the ceiling there. As I open up these two drawers, we've got an internal divider, heaps of room. Again, a lovely deep drawer there for storage. So really a side of the locker that's been set up and focused on being able to compartmentalise your storage, put things where you, where you know they're going to be and just be really functional for the customer. There it is, a base 5.2 configuration. Another fantastic example of how our customers are using the all-Australian-made Chameleon AMLS platform to set up a trailer or a U-tray for their needs now and, importantly, into the future. We're here in Albury. We'd love to hear from you. Re reach out to us on Instagram, Facebook, email or in the office. We love showing people through our facility here in Albury. Lots more content on our YouTube channel. We can't wait to hear from you and talk about your dreams and situations.